What's good YouTube? Welcome back to a brand new vlog. So today guys, I've actually got a pretty decent vlog planned for you. I've been awake since about 2 a.m. because it's the holy month of Ramadan and I'm actually fasting, trying to keep myself busy. Today guys, I've invited my friend Sahir over, which you've met in the vlogs quite a few times, the lad with the silver Peugeot. We're gonna try and tint his backlights ourselves and then I'm gonna try and tint my M140i hopefully if there's like enough tint left and then after that we're gonna open up well I'm gonna open my fast I don't know about you guys after that I'm gonna open my fast I'm gonna eat because I prob probably will have fasted for about 18 and a half close to 19 hours and then we're gonna go hit the gym and train some shoulders so guys just been handed this big ass parcel by my neighbour so it's time to open it up I've got my come at me blade because I hate opening boxes let's see what it is that was a bit of a waste didn't even work I think I'm going to have to put beast mode on it You guys are getting a full on point of view of the action. Me opening the cardboard box. Ah, so it looks like some Gucci. Should we find out what it is? find out what it is to be honest I've ordered so much stuff over the last week or so I don't even know what's been delivered ah okay yeah that's pretty fire let's put it on looks pretty fire these are like some tinting. Pretty, seems like it's a pretty easy job, but obviously those guys are amateurs, so we'll have to see how it turns out. It's not in there, is it? So I'm trying to, I'm currently trying to find my heat gun, which has gone missing. So I found the heat gun and also found, I don't know what the hell that is, some Louis Vuitton stuff, which somebody shoved down here. And this, <laughs> this not so scary mask which you've probably seen last Halloween in my vlogs. Anyway, this is what I needed. Let's go. So we've got some soapy water, and this is the tinting equipment kit that he purchased. Where did you get this from? eBay. Yeah, yeah, I got this from eBay. So if it turns out good, then I'll get him to drop us the link. What um is it fully is it dark medium or medium medium? medium. Yeah. yeah so I'm just gonna roll them on. We need an extension. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna probably be the most amateur <laughs> rear tail like tinting tutorial ever. Ramadan style. So a little bit of a problem guys. The extension lead that I've got is a little bit messed up and it's not very very long so <laughs> i've sent my cousin to his house to pick up a longer extension so we can plug it in take that outside and then plug the heat gun in and start doing this but <sighs> i don't i don't know if this is coming across but i am so hungry i am so thirsty for, for, for i am so thirsty guys it's oh i've been at work all day and um the time's like I think it's around 6 o'clock right now. I've got another 3 hours before I can eat. Double sided razor blade. <laughs> A very smart idea bro. For me in it. Yeah. 
Yeah, so first thing we did is we put that on the car and measured the the, um, the width and the height. Well, we haven't measured the width and the height. We've just me measured the length of the headlight and he's cutting it across. What's that? The, those steady gym hands. I'll cut him, bro. Push, just push against it, innit? Go on. That's it. We're good to go. Have you sprayed the headlight first? Yeah. Right, sp yeah, spray, spray it first. With the spray gun, where's the spray gun at? Get some of that dead hole in there. Spray the film a little bit as well. Right, we need to make sure. Yeah, that's that's true actually. Oh, we oh, didn't do that. Did yeah, yeah, it's his yeah. sub. Look at look at his setup. What should I put it? Which side? <laughs> it flies. Should we take the stick off first? No, um. Yeah, you have to. Yeah, yeah. Take one side off. It's not sticky. Which side? The sticky side. The clear. Take. Pull from the clear side there. Here, yeah, this side. Yeah. Right? I don't think you need to spray, you know. Right. Pull that off. Very. Yeah, it's okay. Just slam it on, legit. Wait. Please spray this one. You need to stretch in here, he could it. Nah, don't spray this, trust me. I don't think spray this. Are you sure? Nah, you do. It. Yeah, a little bit, innit? A little bit. Because you, 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 you need to be able to move it around. This very, just very bit. slightly, yeah, very slightly. Yeah, that's it. Now he gonna so we can stretch it. If we yeah. on first and then he can after. Yours is well easy, innit? Right, one sec. Right, point, point, point you need to cover the bottom part as well. Let's move it bit down, innit? Wait, hang on. Move it bit down. There. No, a bit more. I'm gonna see on it. Yeah, look, he's ripped. He's too on it. Oh yeah. Fuck your duties. He's too hard up. So that was a trial. Nah, he's got the other roll. It's in the car, isn't it? No, where's he? The oh, only one is that he? Nah, did you not get two? I only got one. Are you sure? Yeah. How are you guys? What the is one? <laughs> Two in a park one. Nah, I got two. Are you sure? Yeah, I only got one. Shh. Oh. What a fail. <laughs> we wanted to be uh, being able to do that one anyway. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. That was a big fail. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so that was a big fail. We were thinking that we could do his headlights and have roll left over to do my headlights, but we didn't even have enough to do his second headlight, tail light, so it's not even long enough for the plate. No. No. What else can we shall we try a tinted badge? Leave it now, we'll just do it next time and get some more. Uh, See yellow one. Oh what about the fog lights? Has it got fog lights on your car? They're too big then. I'm trying to think what else we can tint with it. Can you break like this? Where? Is it long enough? It's true, it's true, it? Oh, your fog lights are uh, thingy, bro. Yeah. They're small enough to tint them. True, but I never use them. I know, true. Oh, that was a fail. Oh, a fail.
Donnell Mill and they don't even stock office tables so basically long story short I want to get a gaming setup and I want to get an office setup so I can edit my videos so I need like a table one of those bucket seat racing gaming chairs and then a gaming PC and an iMac and I also need to pick up a drone maybe a DJI Phantom 4 um, or a DJI Mavic oh yeah guys if any of you have got experience with drones which one is a better drone the DJI Phantom 4 or the DJI Mavic let me know in the comments um, also give me some recommendations of a good gaming PC to buy man because I'm quite new to this and I want to start streaming late in the evenings like all access no holes barred just anything goes and I also need to pick up a GoPro Hero 6 Black Edition because the GoPro I'm using at the moment was actually a gift it's a hero 3 it is a decent decent GoPro but right now it just doesn't cut it with the quad <laughs> yo you're right it doesn't uh, cut it with the quality so I need to get some better so I can get those those POV shots those uh, suction cup mount shots and yo that is so that, that's so gay man what are you doing <laughs> <laughs> the woman nearly knocked me out. <laughs> Alright, stop running off. <laughs> Dude, that was a that was the rubbish, most rubbish dive I've seen ever. What? That shit I was done here. No. Holy! Camera battery ended up dying, guys, which is a pain. But anyway, the time is currently 12 minutes past 10. I've eaten, which was about 40 minutes ago, about 70 minutes past nine to be precise. So I've let my food digest a little bit. I had some protein, some carbohydrates, which is basically in the form of chicken, lasagna, uh, what else did I have? I had, I had stir fry, I had some chips, just anything I could get my hands on, I stuffed my face. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of water as well. But right now, we're going back to the gym for round two, and we're gonna hit some shoulders, we're gonna hit some arms, and then, just see where the rest of the vlog takes us but uh, man i feel good i feel so supercharged throughout the day now i'm just super exhausted super tired and then it gets to about half past nine ten o'clock at night once i've eaten and i'm just like buzzing so much energy i feel nocturnal i feel like an owl but it's kind of bad because i've been staying awake until about 3 4 a.m every single day since i've been fasting and my sleeping patterns are sm so messed up also it's been kind of bad because i've got to get up for work in the morning and when you're only sleeping about two to three hours a night it is not easy and then when i'm at work i'm falling asleep which is really 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 bad i hope my i hope my boss ain't watching this vlog <laughs> yeah man it's it's tough feeling like focused 
kind of motivated, driven, which is, pff, oh man, I don't even know what I'm saying, but another thing I've realised as well is the days are feeling like, every day feels the same, you know how normally you've got like the Friday feeling, the Saturday, Sunday feeling, but it's weird, like when you're not eating and when you're starving yourself for 18, 19 hours a day, every day just feels the same. I feel like having a crazy session. I'm actually gonna brave it and take some curse, which is a pre-workout. It's um, green apple envy. I've only taken this once, and I only had one scoop the last time I took it. So today I'm gonna do two and a half scoops. The maximum you can take is like three scoops, but I'm gonna do two and a half. See how it goes. Probably not the best idea because. I don't know if you guys have actually seen this video, but there's a video of me somewhere. I can't remember if it's on YouTube or if it's like on social media or whatever. But last year, during the month of Ramadan, I took pre-workout to break my fast like an absolute idiot. And oh my God, like my heart was pumping. I was getting palpitations. I thought I was going to... Taste-wise, guys, probably one of the nicest apple-flavored pre-workouts I've tried. And it was really cheap, it was like 20, 20 pounds of Amazon. So if any of you want to try it out, I'll drop a link in the description box. It's pretty decent, does the job, good for the price. Not too, too strong, but definitely does the job. And I need to fuel up as well because we're on 20 miles. This car's just, I feel like, you know, for the performance, it sucks quite a lot. It's a th I mean, yeah, it's a three litre, straight six. But, man, this sucks more than my RS3. It is a little bit quicker. Well, it's actually a lot quicker now that it's mapped, but I mean, to be honest, it wasn't that great on fuel anyway when it was stock. And um, in comparison to like the RS3, the RS3 was definitely better on fuel, guys. So there's a fun fact for you. RS3 versus M140i, the RS3 is better on fuel. But I suppose that's expected anyway because it's like a 2.5 and this is a 3 litre. soldiers that have been subscribed to me for exactly a year you'll know that this exact spot right here is where I started my first ever vlog on the channel in the C63S and now we're back here same spot more confidence loads more subscribers man it's crazy to think oh yeah I want to tell you guys a funny story you know how the last vlog I was showing off my new number plate tints well the same day I got pulled over by the police at night and I actually got a hundred pound fine for the number plate tints now I pulled them off this afternoon after the gym so gutted looked so much better tinted but guys if any of you have got number plate tints then don't risk it, honestly, it's not worth it for the 100 quid fine. I know a lot of people in Blackburn are rocking the 4D gel plates that are tinted and smoke them up, but police have told me that they are illegal. I tried, I tried um, <laughs> negotiating with him, but he wasn't having any, he, he wasn't having any of it. So I ended up with a 100 pound fine. <sighs> so not worth it, but oh well. I don't know how busy it is gonna be in there. I tend to get really shy when when I'm in busy areas, especially while holding the vlogging camera, because believe it or not, but I do get social anxiety, which I will talk to you about 
in a later vlog, but oh, okay, it's not too bad. Absolutely shattered. It's about quarter past midnight. Need to go home and get in maybe another meal before about half past two before I have to close my fast. Just stay away from brawl splits. I just felt like I needed to say that because I see so many people in the gym like doing an arm day, a back day, a chest day. It's just such a waste. Unless you're on steroids where your muscles are continuously growing and your protein synthesis is like heightened for a full seven days, then that's fine. But if you're a natty lifter, protein synthesis is only gonna be heightened for like 24 to 48 hours. And that's a science morpho proven fact. <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Um, don't forget to subscribe, share and like as usual. Follow me on social media. Let me know what you thought of this raw kind of style of vlog. If you enjoyed it, then I'll do a lot more of these. Um, People keep asking me to to be more more formal and I'd rather be a savage man. I've actually enjoyed filming today's vlog even though I've been absolutely drained. Right now I'm so wide awake, the pre-workout's still in my system and I'm just like blah, 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 talking so fast. Stay tuned man and I I'm just you know what? My sister tells me this all the time, my dad tells me this all the time, like you need to stop talking, you need to stop saying you're gonna do shit, and you just need to do it. So that's enough talking. For today's vlog, I'm going to end it there. See you guys in the next vlog. Take it easy. Peace out.